welcome to today's tutorial. Today we'll be having a look at the online ordering system of your new website. So uh, as you all know, my restaurant theme has a very robust online ordering system. It presently supports nine payment gateways and uh, we'll add any more if, if we need to. And uh, there are just a few things that you'll need to set up before your customers can start ordering from your website. So uh, first of all, let's just go to our WordPress dashboard and uh, under the My Restaurant Settings uh, menu, go down to Store Settings. And uh, within this, go to Delivery Hours. Now this is where you'll specify when your restaurant is open for home delivery. Uh, there are just a couple of things here you'll need to fill out. Uh, delivery time is how long your average delivery takes. Next you'll have your time zone setting. Make sure you fill this out correctly. Just uh, enter wh whatever your time zone may be. This is used in, in the calculations when uh, my restaurant theme determines when whether your restaurant is actually open for home delivery when people want to order on your website. So uh, after that you'll need to fill out when uh, your restaurant is open for home delivery or takeaway for that matter on any given day. If it's closed on any day, for example Monday, then just remove this check mark right here. But if it's open, make sure it's checked and uh, also you know, specify what times your what time your restaurant is open for home delivery uh, from or what time and until what time. Now uh, you might notice that there's a business hours uh, submenu here. Uh, this is different. Uh, business hours is, is when your restaurant is actually open for business and uh, since your delivery hours might be a bit different, that's why we wanted to keep it to keep this uh, setting separate. Uh, if you scroll down a bit, you just have one more setting, your, your text for to be displayed when someone is trying to order from your website when you're, you're not actually open for home delivery and uh, this is the, the text that will be output to that person. Next, uh, you'll need to go to uh, web shop settings right here. And uh, you'll need to go to general settings first of all and fill out everything. Now, I'm not going to show you all the settings here since uh, there's a separate dedicated tutorial on, uh, on configuring your web shop. This is actually your shopping cart. So you'll want to make sure that you fill out everything correctly and uh, fully here. Now there are just two more places where you'll need to uh, turn just uh, two more switches on. If you go to the individual food items, for example, I'll go to this pumpkin pie right here, edit it. And uh, this is the standard edit screen. But if you scroll down a bit, you'll see this deliverable switch. You have to set that to on if you want this uh, item to be deliverable. Uh, that's pretty straightforward, you know, nothing special about it. And if you want it to be deliverable, then you'll want, you'll want to probably set a price for it as well um, or not. You know, if, if you want to provide this, uh, this item for free, then you'll just set it to zero. So uh, after you uh, press update, and you remember always press update after you make any changes, you'll want to go to the menu cards and you'll basically do the same thing with any given menu card what, where you'll want to enable home delivery. For example, on this main menu card, uh, if you scroll down just a bit, you'll see that you have two options right here. Show prices will uh, show prices set to on. We'll make sure that the prices are, are shown next to the the pictograms of each uh, of each of each item. Of course, if you don't have a pictogram, then the price will be shown next to the name of the item. Uh, the next setting you need to turn on is this show add to cart button because if it's uh, set to off this add to cart button will not be shown on the entire menu card which means that uh, people won't be able to add any items from the given menu card into your shopping cart. So uh, that's pretty much everything that you need to set up on the back end. Everything else is uh, done automatically. Of course you'll want to make sure that you fill out everything on the, on the web shop settings page and uh, next, I just want to go through real quickly what your, your customer will experience when they order from your, from your website. So this is a standard menu card page. You know, I have it set up to display soups, steaks, pizzas, desserts, and uh, that's it. And uh, let's say I want to order a mozzarella soup. It's uh, entered automatically into my shopping cart. I can change the quantity. Let's say I want um, just one instead, not two. And I also want a pizza, for example, a double cheese pizza. And uh, it's added to the shopping cart after I press add to cart. But since I set up 
uh, variations for that uh, for that single food item I'll be taken to the variations page right away the, there's also a separate tutorial on this and uh, I want to add some extra peppers and extra cheese to my double cheese pizza and then go back to the main menu now it's worth noting that uh, if your if your customer navigates away from this page or even if they close this window for example but then they return to it and uh, they go over to uh, any of the pages where the shopping cart widget is enabled they'll automatically see this this uh, shopping cart filled with the items of their inc incomplete purchase ready so that's a good way to increase your your turnover and your conversions so uh, next they'll probably press the checkout button and this is where the shop the checkout process will begin for your customers uh, on the first page of the checkout process they can review their order they can make sure that this is what they wanted and uh, you'll also see this this uh, upsell area right here there's a separate tutorial on this as well this can be set under my restaurant the store settings and upsell related items area now as you can see my enable upsell upsell area switch is on and my upsell category is desserts and as you would expect i have some desserts desserts presented to me this is a really good way to increase your your turnover to show people some extra items right before they check out and i'll take advantage of this i'll add the fruit cup to my order and as you can see it has the shopping cart uh, has been updated with this food cup and you can also see that there's a shipping cost of five dollars right now but if i add another food cup you'll see that the shipping cost is gone that's because i set shipping to uh, be zero above orders of twenty dollars and since my order is totaling twenty two dollars now the shipping uh, cost is uh, set to zero Next, your, your customers will probably click the check out now button and they'll be taken to the delivery information page where they can enter all their personal details for you. So they'll need to enter their email address, their name, their address, their city, their zip code, their phone number and uh, any special instructions that they have for you. Now it's also worth noting that the, you can validate against the zip code right here. Uh, this is covered in the tutorial, tutorial covering the shopping cart as well, but I'll just show you real quickly where it is. So if you, you go to your web shop settings and go to shipping options, you'll see this delivery zip codes area right here. This is where you can enter the zip codes that you deliver to. Now, since I don't have anything entered in this field, uh, it, it means that I'm delivering to every possible zip code that they enter. So once they finish filling out their personal details, their contact information, they'll be able to set when they want their order to be delivered, either now or later on, which they can set with this uh, graphical interface. And uh, they'll also be able to set the delivery method, home delivery or takeaway. You can change this uh, in the back administration backend options that's covered in the in the shopping cart tutorial as well. So once they finish uh, filling out everything on this page, they'll be clicking the continue checkout button and uh, at which point they'll be taken to the payment method uh, option page. Now I have three payment gateways enabled right here. So if you go to the to the payment options page within web shop settings you'll see these payment gateways and I have three of them enabled right now manual payments is the cash payment so you want to probably keep this on by default and uh, also you'll probably just use one of the other payment gateways whichever one you have a, an account with since I have three payment gateways enabled I can choose between either now to checkout and PayPal are actually for credit card payments but I'll just be using a cash payment uh, method right now. And once they choose their payment method, the continue checkout button will appear and your customer will be taken to the finalized order page. This is the, uh, the last page of the ordering process where they can check their order one more time, check their shipping information and then confirm their payment with this button. Next, they'll be taken to the thank you for your order page. You can specify the text here and uh, they'll see this tracking link. We covered this uh, in the order management tutorial. They'll see the status of their order. And of course, if you go to the food items and uh, menu or manage orders submenu, you'll see their new order as well. 
So that's pretty much it. That's pretty much everything you need to know about the online ordering system and your website. We wanted to make everything as intuitive as possible uh, with, it, with as, as least amount of settings as possible. And uh, we hope it's all to your liking. If you have any questions, then make sure you ask in our support forums and uh, make sure you watch all the other tutorials as well. Bye.